The moon in the game actually moves depending on how much time is left. Tapping or holding V as a vampire will emit small purple particles from your torso, which can in some situations expose you. The lights and the firing range are breakable. Reloading. Some accessories, like the ice skull and the regular skull, aren't obtainable anymore due to them being removed from the shop in the full release update, which means that some people technically own limited time VH3 accessories. Sadly, I don't own the ice skull. VH3 has a weather system that not a lot of people will probably pay attention to. The static shock ability for Blackout used to be a secondary ability. The injure and death sound effect both come from Roblox's number one rival game, Blockland. Farewell, gamer. Swimming was planned for the game, but was cancelled due to unknown reasons. Here's some old concepts of the MVP screen. Clark used to have chairs and desks in the downstairs middle room. This is also visible in the map voting screen. I'm personally glad these were removed, as these would have been an absolute pain in the ass if they were still in the game. Shaggy used to look like this. <laughs> the map you're seeing in the background is a scrapped mall map that was cancelled because the map had some unknown issues. Newcomer lobbies were gonna be a thing, but quickly got scrapped due to promoting smurfing. There used to be some splash text that showed up when you died, but for some odd reason, this was removed. Zack himself is the person who voices voice one. What the? One down. Here's the gun. It's them! Got them! Mission Done by Dawn, aka M12, is a remix of one of Zack's old songs named I Don't Wanna Be Here. <laughs> The health GUI and banners previously used Oswald and permanent marker font, which in my opinion looks better than the current finger paint font we have. I mean, finger paint font is so overrated, am I right guys? There are some badges that are completely unobtainable. A lot of maps have secret breakable walls, which can lead to some pretty goaded rotations. Here are some examples. This painting on Shevchenko includes some popular VH3 members. Also, for some reason, the doors on this cafe open in the opposite direction you're standing in. The server numbers in the server list reset after 9,999. Before VH3's full release, there used to be a room you could go into here on Survivor's Hideout, but it was blocked off due to the map simply being too big. All the OGs remember the boiler room. Now this fact you will not be able to unhear after I tell you about it, so um, you know, close your ears if you don't want to hear it. I'll give you 3 seconds, okay? 3 to 1, here it is. The sound of the escape keys actually play out the VH3 main theme. The audio is completely unedited by the way, you can check it out in the tutorial like I did. Here's my reaction to actually like, figuring out that this was a thing. When you're escaping the button sounds play vampire- what? 
Are you lying or is that actually true? You please- what? No, it doesn't. How do you know that? <laughs> By listening? Let me turn on my audio. Stand still. <laughs> it does! What? It actually does! <laughs> oh my god, I never knew that. Oh yeah, here's a scrap escape UI concept. This banner is a reference to a game on Roblox called Yeah, that is currently being developed by one of my friends called Road. <coughs> uh, hi, I'm Road. I made this banner and this game. Anyways, Zach has made a theme for Juggernaut and Hunternaut, I think, that we'll probably hear in future updates. The sound when you get an achievement is different depending on the difficulty of obtaining the badge. Most if not all gun sounds come from Rainbow Six Siege, which Zack has played a lot. This radio on Manor plays VH2 music. Your character has a really slim chance to fart when they spot a vampire or something. What? No! In the game, there is a hidden sanity meter. Depending on how low this is, uh, the the more creepy sounds you'll hear. And if you're the last player alive, then that'll just that'll just default to zero. If you're wondering where Pizza got that information, yeah, no, it comes from a comment that Zach made in one of his videos. The song from Shevchenko. Oh my! I I am sorry. I really can't pronounce that. The song from che the song from Shevchenko Street Radio comes from Roblox. Pete is still waiting for a balance update. By the way, I'm am just I'm just letting you know. He, he's still waiting. He's he's still. You can actually drown. That means your character literally needs air to survive. That's. Wow. There are different background splashes in the result screen depending on what role you're playing as. There are only four guns that use the 8x scope, SMP 5ST being the only SMG out of them. There's a vent hidden on Clark that cannot be accessed. I'm guessing it was it was it was able to be accessed before. For some reason it got blocked off. There are some really strange players who play this game. This guy's name is Dark Angry Wolf. What? The creator of Nightfall in map has his own little desk with a note saying, Zack, ple please keep my cool office, please. Fortunately, Zack ended up not crucifying it, so it, it lived. There are only three maps with elevators Hotel Japan, Zack Corp, and Clark. Before it got its name, Lumina used to be called ha Hamoon Energy for some reason. I did, that did not sound that cool. Lumina is better. Lumina is way better. Zack left some unfinished code for a feature that ended up being scrapped in one of the versions of VH3. Here is the old trained medic icon. A stake and slingshot used to be options to start a gadget, but it quickly got replaced by pocket knife and baseball bike because the community said that it would be too annoying. Okay, I'm done here. Bye. This screenshot includes a map that we absolutely have zero information of. But as you can see in the back, there's a sign that says Papa Zack Pizzeria. My guess is that this is an early version of a Zack Corp rework. And trust me, I tried asking what this map was, but this fatty wouldn't tell me. In early testing, there used to be a bug on Clark where the guns in the armory would have a problem to get picked up. Huntsman Tranquilizer used to have two charges, just like the military impact grenades we have currently. Here's a screenshot of what I'm speculating is a very early version of a Nightfall Motel rework. This seems to be an early concept of the gun store menu. The armory in Clark used to have a vent that connected the armory and the locker room, but for some reason this vent was removed. And finally, here are some screenshots of the VACLAV rework that is currently being worked on.